This short video shows 10 of the new features, in the recently released Parallels Desktop 18. Most demos were done on a Mac with an Apple M1 Max chip. Let's get started with two features that every current and every prospective Parallels Desktop user wants, speed. I will use Microsoft Access for this speed demo. Notice that neither Parallels Desktop, nor Windows, nor any Windows apps are currently running. Remember that Microsoft Access has never been ported to the Mac, unlike many of the other Microsoft Office apps. I will click on the Access icon in the dock now. That took less than 3 seconds, a pretty impressive launch speed for a Windows app on a Mac. My next speed demo will show screen refresh speeds, expressed as frames per second. This speed factor influences the speed of animations, graphic modeling apps, and most games. In Parallels Desktop 16.5, we measured a speed of about 37 frames per second, and in Parallels Desktop 17, we measured speeds of almost 60 frames per second, the limit of the Mac hardware at that time. Now, however, the new Apple Pro Motion displays can get up to 120 frames per second. Let me show you the frame rate speed achieved in Parallels Desktop 18 on a Pro Motion display. In addition to achieving 120 frames per second, Parallels Desktop 18 will also adjust the frame rate in Windows, to whatever frame rate you set on the Mac. Watch as I change the frame rate to 60Hz on the Mac. This synchronization between Mac and Windows is important in applications like video editing, and animation generation. Many Parallels Desktop users play Windows games on their Mac, and for many games, the peripheral of choice is a game controller. In Parallels Desktop 18, we have greatly simplified the setup of game controllers. Just connect your game controller to the Mac, and Parallels Desktop 18 will take care of all the needed Windows settings. Watch what happens when I switch on my Xbox game controller, the Mac will see and connect to the controller. Then, when I go over to Windows, I don't need to set any preferences or other settings. As soon as I start using my controller, it works in Windows, as you can see in the website shown here. Of course, the true test of a controller is to use it in a game. Now I will use my controller with the popular Windows-only game from Steam, Power Wash Simulator. Of course, Parallels Desktop 18 will be fully supported on Mac OS Ventura when Ventura is released later this year by Apple. Parallels Desktop 18 is also fully supported on Mac OS Monterey, Mac OS Big Sur, Mac OS Catalina, and Mac OS Mojave. Now let's look at the feature in Mac OS Ventura that is getting the most attention, Stage Manager. When in coherence mode, Stage Manager treats Windows apps just like Mac apps, which is exactly what Parallels desktop users want. I suspect that the Apple engineers never thought that they would see Windows apps, in the Stage Manager stacks on the left side of the Mac screen, like you are seeing right now. On both an Intel-based Mac and an M-series Mac, you can run Windows 11, many Linux distributions, and recent Mac OS releases. On an Intel-based Mac, you can also run older operating systems like Windows XP and Windows 7, as well as older Mac OS releases like Mac OS Lion and Mac OS Big Sur. You can run Mac OS Ventura on any Mac that can run Parallels Desktop 18. Here is Mac OS Ventura running in a Parallels Desktop window on an M1 Mac. You can even see 3D graphics, as in this flyover of the Statue of Liberty in Apple Maps. One of the new features in the business edition of Parallels Desktop 18, is known by the short name of Single Sign-On. However, a more accurate name would be, Activate Parallels Desktop Business Edition in a corporate environment using just your corporate account. When there are many instances of Parallels Desktop in a corporation, the IT admin staff can set up the ability for ordinary users to directly activate Parallels Desktop, with only their corporate account. Using this new single sign-on feature, the user clicks on the Business Edition button in the sign-in window, and then clicks on the Continue with SSO button in the Activate Business Edition window. Then the user enters their corporate logon. And that is all. 
the work done by the IT staff in the back end will take care of all the details. A Parallels product that is bundled with Parallels Desktop is Parallels Toolbox. Parallels Toolbox is a set of more than 50 single purpose, standalone tools, which are always available in the Mac menu bar. New tools are regularly being added to Parallels Toolbox, and one of the most recently added tools is Encrypt File, a tool that encrypts and decrypts files. The Encrypt Files tool can store the password you use to encrypt a file in the Mac keychain, so you don't have to remember the password. Here I am encrypting a file. And then using the encrypt files tool to decrypt it. All I need to do for the tool to retrieve the correct password from the keychain is to press my finger on the touch ID sensor on my MacBook Pro. What could be easier than this? Another Parallels product that is bundled with Parallels Desktop is Parallels Access. Parallels Access gives you the ability to connect to your Mac from your iPad or iPhone and use the apps on your remote Mac as if they were iPad apps. You can use Mac apps, like Microsoft PowerPoint, and you can also use Windows apps like Microsoft Access, all from your iPad or iPhone. Use the app you need on the hardware you have. If you are a Parallels Desktop user with a current subscription, download and install Parallels Desktop 18 at no charge, to start using the great features shown in this video. If you are not yet a Parallels Desktop user, download the free 14-day trial of Parallels Desktop 18, and install Windows 11 on your Mac, so that you can experience the Parallels Desktop features for yourself. Thanks for watching.